I am Laura. And I am Luna. And we're called La Pajarraca. We're going to show you how is our process for making stop motion animation. The first thing we do is to look for a good idea. Uh, we usually make this looking in books, internet, and we research for artists, and, where, and whatever we need to get a little bit more creative. And when we already know what we're going to tell and how we're going to show it, we start with the, um, the storyboard process, we start to sketch characters, landscapes, and start the prop design. We also need to decide the scale of the film and the props and the landscapes are how we're going to make everything. And then we start making a list of materials that we need to start recording. <laughs> And when we have all that, we, we are, are ready, ready to go. go! Once we have a, a graphic idea of our puppets, we can start making them. For these two plate videos, we try to make um, simple puppets and we use like very raw materials. For these kind of puppets, we use wire to make the structure. Here I have an example of one of the bunnies. Um, I uncovered it a little bit so you can see the structure is made of wire. Uh, then we use paper to fill it up and shape it a little bit. Finally, I cover up with thread. We thought the thread would give it like a very nice and very cute style. We cover it like this, just just rolling it and cover it like, like a mummy or something like that. And we finally made the details with thread and plastic balls and sometimes we use paper and fabrics. Well, it all depends on the, the character and that's it. We did as well some props. What we tried with the props was that, that they were the ones that moved. So the characters didn't need to move that much. And um, you can see here the car. It's our, one of our main characters. All of it's made with cardboard. And the only thing that really works in this car is the door that opens a little bit here. And the wheels that they just turn around. We have as well the carousel. One of the amusement park pieces. Here it is. And what we tried was that it moved just in a very simple way, like a carousel does, I think so. And uh, this is one thing we think all the time, that's everything is stop motion. You have to think before building it, how it's gonna move. And the last one is this one that I don't know what's called, but it's these huge wheels. And you can see it's all made of cardboard and wood. For the sets of these videos, uh, we thought about making them with um, tropical vegetables and fruits that were very typical in Colombia that is not very easy to find anywhere else. We start making them, setting up the camera and after that we start building all the landscape uh, based on the, on the shoot of the camera. Um, I can show you right now an example of the, of the landscapes because we ate all the fruits but our our sets were very tricky because we didn't have like a huge set where the camera can move around we start building from the shot so it was kind of tricky here I have you an example of one of the sets this is the front part of the house and uh, it's just a drawing in a cardboard uh, it's flat it's not a 3D house, so you can see here. For the animation process, first we need the equipment for this specifically. We use a Canon 5D and we have the AC adapter that goes straight to the power supply. We have two lenses, a 50mm lens and the 16-35mm lens. Uh, with the 16-35, that is, a, we could we could make the wide shots, and with the 50 millimeters, we did like some very spe specific shots. We needed we had as well the tripod, and 
the software that is called Dragon Frame, the one we use. And we had as well a little slider so we could move the camera from one side to the other. The animation, the stop motion animation is basically pictures, as you know. So it works, you take a picture and you move a little bit the object and you take a picture and you move the object and you take a picture and this is how it works, basically. If you want the movement to go faster, so you move the, the element in big steps and if you want it to go slower, so you just move it in very short uh, steps. So you have less pictures if it goes faster and you have more pictures if it goes slower. You can see here, this is a wire, so these are some leaves. So to be able to move the leaf, we have this wire technique that we were telling you about for making the, the props. So you can move it however you want. So if you want to animate it, you just take a picture there, you open it a little bit and you take another picture and you open it and take another picture and that's basically it. If you want to research more, there are a lot of nice books and uh, we invite you to do that. It's a very nice technique. And after all, uh, the Dragon Frame software, we export the movie, uh, it allows you to export the movie, like a quick time or whatever code that you want or what you need. And then we just put everything together in Final Cut Pro and we find sounds and we just compose everything there and it's done.